I want to show you a complete core workout, how you can work your core from a number of different angles. First, I'll show you the low back. You can do this by keeping your back straight. You could slide your hands down and slide them back up if you only want to use a little weight on your low back. Or if you have a sturdy surface, I will say it again, if you have a sturdy surface and you're able to put it in right about the hip level, but your upper body can still hinge over it, you can do your low back exercises over that. Now remember, anytime we're doing that, we're pulling the whole core in, everything is engaged from the feet all the way up, the shoulders are back, and I'm going forward and lengthening my center as I'm keeping everything pulled in. And then I'm coming back up. When I come back up, I'm going right about to here. I'm not going here, and I'm, or I'm not leaning way back. I'm just working the muscles. I'm not jamming the bones in the back. I'm not jamming backwards or pushing way backwards. That little extra bit that you may get the muscle, you could hurt your spine. So that little bit for the muscle will never be worth it. Always protect your spine. So don't go back so far that you're pressing against your spine. So use the muscles the whole time. Muscle all the way down, muscle all the way up till it's done contracting. Once that muscle's contracted and you're up, there's no reason to go any further back. So if this was my back and this is the neutral position, I'd be going down and coming back up to neutral. That's all I would be doing. That would be protecting my back and getting my back muscles strong at the same time. Next, I'll do rotational strength. So here, I'm gonna put tension on the rubber bands and I'm just gonna push them out in front of me and it's gonna pull me to the side more and I'm gonna bring them back in. And I'm squeezing the core in every time. And I'm, you'll sort of feel it more on this side. I'll do the same here. that one more on this side. Next thing you can do is we'll do the sides. I haven't tried this one yet so I'll see how it works. What I'm going to do is I'll come to the side here. I'll do here this. I'll get up nice and straight and I'll just lead to the side and back to the center. Controlling it the whole time. I'm controlling stretching the rubber band and I'm controlling taking the tension off it. You'll feel that all on this side. But always posture first, core engage first, before I even worry about working the muscles. And then I only work the muscles as far as they contract. So I'm contracting my left side right now, and then I'm relaxing my left side while I'm keeping this all engaged. My muscles are moving me, because that's what I'm working. There's no reason to move anything else. You only move the muscle that you're working and the muscles that stabilize the joints of the body to protect everything else. So we did back, we did rotation, we did sides, and now we do front. You could do them in any order, but I always like ending with the front or the back. I don't like ending with side to side or twisting. And always warm up first. And then this is the front. All right, you could do as many repetitions as you like. If you wanted to start out, you could do them on the floor. You can lay on the ground and just contract your belly to do the front. You can lay on your belly and just stretch out tall and just not even lift yourself up, but just start to put tension on your back, but make sure your tail is tucked under so you're not leaning back too far for the back. When you're laying on your back, you can run your hands down your sides to do the sides. And then when you're laying on your back, you can just, um, Either use your feet and just squeeze your core to go side to side, or you're on your back, you can just do this and reach across your body. So that would be 
the start of the abs. That would be the start of the turning, whereas this would be more advanced. The sides would just be squeezed in your side and rubbing, running your hand down your leg and squeezing the other side and running your hand down your leg. And that would be squeezing the sides in the easy version. That would be the advanced version. I'm only picking my head up to look at you. <laughs> your head should really be back and relaxed. And then the other one for the back, well, obviously the ab one would be like this. And then the low back one would be nice and in the dirt like this. Reaching, 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 belly in, tail tucked under, meet legs into the ground, everything flat touching the ground, and just be little lifts and down. Little lifts. And that would be the easiest first part. And then always, always be thinking of your back. When you are on your doing your belly stuff, remember this is instructional, I'm not gonna do whole workouts. But if you listen to these little tips and utilize them, um, it'll help you get started. When you are on your back, your belly should be in, your tail should be under, and your back should be flat on the ground. That's what lets you know you're ready to start working your core when you're on your back. And one other thing, there's obviously two ways to work things. From the top down, which would be like this, and from the bottom up, which would be like this. So as you're working out and as you're doing different things, make sure you're doing things from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top. If you have any questions, just ask.